nossa vida São papai nós Só te Hey guys, it's your boy Slow, and no, you are not dreaming, that is David Luiz, that I'm offering a hideous sum of money to buy, and the reason is because I saw a little comment in one of my videos, and someone said, David Luiz belongs at Benfica, and he should return. Well, guess what? I've got a shitload of money from selling Gaitan and uh, another player, I can't remember who it was. Uh, maybe I should know. So I thought, fuck it, and I'm gonna go for it. I also looked up Fabio Quintrão, but unfortunately, I think he's just been loaned to Monaco. As you can see, he's got the Real Madrid symbol there, but he's got the Monaco symbol on the right panel, and they won't give him up to me. That's a real shame. He would have been perfect for that left-back position. So then I thought, maybe I'm gonna go for someone with potential, and that guy is Benjamin Mendy. I know that this guy's gonna be awesome in the future, and he's quite cheap. I can get him for around 8.5 million, and he's gonna be great competition for Ellie Zill. So, yeah, we can't really lose with that one. I also tried Raphael for the right-back position, but Leon were having none of it. They were not going to let go of this man, and I respect that. Uh, he's a decent player, and I think he's just arrived there this year, or maybe last year, so they weren't going to give him up. I did, however, go for Joel Campbell, and the reason being that Benfica's been after him since the World Cup, and I think he's going to develop into a really good player. But I might have to pay around 9-10 million, but I'm definitely going to go for him. I think he's got a bright future. So PSG were not happy with my first offer for David Luiz. I did try quite a low uh, number there, 23 million. So I'm going to offer around 35 million now and see if they accept. I can't see them not accepting it. It's still 5 million under what they're asking for. So hopefully this time they'll accept it. Marseille, however, did accept my offer for Mendy. And I'm going to offer him around 70,000 a week, which is 20,000. Uh, lower than what he wants, but hopefully he'll accept that. It's 20% clean sheet bonus and a three-year contract he wanted for, so maybe he'll accept this. So before we get the results of the negotiations, we have a match against Borvista. We're playing away. It's a Liga Nos. It's our second game after losing to Porto, unfortunately. That was really annoying. I was really pissed off. Uh, but anyway, I've got a good shot against Borvista. I do admit that I'm not quite there yet with FIFA 16, but it's improving and hopefully this will be a bit more balanced than that thrashing I got from Porto. Still a bit embarrassed about that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the highlights and I hope that I get some points. And early on in the game, Bovista didn't waste any time on the attack and Luizinho made this nice pass to Achibo. He takes a right-footed shot and it's wide off the far post, but it was a good chance there from Bovista and their play looks promising. Again, Luizinho making a nice run down the left-hand side. He crosses it in, it bounces off Luizão and Carvalho Valio takes a nice header and it was a great save there from Julia Cesar just tapping it over the bar and then they have a corner. Could this be the moment the Boa Vista score? They're being quite threatening but no, Julio Cesar picks up the ball easily and the game remains nil-nil. And 13 minutes into the game it's Boa Vista on the attack again. Julio Cesar with a massive mistake. It drops straight to Boa Vista and then uh, Loris picks up the ball, passes it to Carvalho. A beautiful left-footed shot and it's into the back of the net. Again, I'm not adapting to FIFA 16 yet. I'm still having trouble with the build-up play and the defence but it was a beautiful goal. It was Julio Cesar's mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have come out with him but what a beautiful shot there, right in the top left-hand side. And uh, it's now Boavista 1, Benfica 0. And my defence didn't get any better, I'm just messing around here. I don't even know how to clear a ball, but the ball passing and clearing is very hit and miss in FIFA 16. It makes no sense at all. So something had to be changed and I decided to go for a 4-4-2 diamond formation to get more players in the midfield and let's hope that this gives us a bit more fluidity. And it took until the 30th minute of the match for Benfica to have some sort of attacking play. It's Mitroglu, of all people on the right hand side there, uh, crossing the ball in and it doesn't really get to anyone but I do get a free kick. And it's going to be taken by Pitti. It was a nice effort, but the goalkeeper just tips it over the bar there for a corner. And the formation change has actually made a positive impact in the game, but unfortunately, Sir Morris just overhits this ball to Pitti, and the ball goes out of play. And it's another free kick for Pitti, just outside the 18-yard box. This is actually an awesome effort. It hits the bar, hits the back of the goalkeeper, and uh, yeah, that was really close to the equaliser. After an awesome period of play from Benfica, it was actually Borvista that came close to scoring with this beautiful beautiful bit of play here and it's Lichero the man again to take a right footed shot and what a save there from uh, Julio Cesar. 
And it was Benfica that was going to continue to dominate this half. And Mitroglu does lose the ball here. But look at this pass from Tarap to Jonas on the left-hand side. He does turn around. He cuts in. You'd think he'd square it off to one of the players in the middle. But he attempts a right-footed shot. And it was a poor effort there. And the game remains. Uh, Boavista 1, Benfica 0. And Benfica continued pressing with a nice counter-attack here. Mitroglu with a nice pass to Salvio. It was an easy shot. He puts it right into the back of the net with his right foot. And it's Benfica's first goal in the Primera Liga. And it gives us a chance to get back into this game and maybe win it. We might get the three points. But this is a definite improvement. This uh, new formation has helped us greatly. But what a beautiful goal there from Salvio. It was an easy goal, but still he needs good accuracy. And he pointed right to the top right-hand corner. Beautiful goal there. Now it's Boavista 1, Benfica 1. And Benfica nearly concedes through a stupid mistake. Look at this Lisandro Lopez pass straight to the uh, Boavista player. And then we can't clear it for some stupid reason. A through ball there to Manuel. And Leo Zinho nearly scores, hits the bar. And that would have been devastating. However, it remains 1-1. And 1-1 it remained. It wasn't the best match that I've ever played. I'm still getting used to the game. But we got the point and I improved tremendously when I changed the formation to the 4-4-2 uh, diamond. And yeah, we got a point. I'm improving. I reckon if I had that formation in the first half, I wouldn't have conceded. And maybe we would have got the three points. Nevertheless, it was an improvement and I'm happy with that. Now let's go and see the transfer negotiation. So Arsenal accepted the offer for Joel Campbell. I'm going to offer him 75k per week and 20% goal bonus. So hopefully he'll accept that and we've got an extra player. Mendy wasn't happy with my first offer, so I'm going to offer him the full 90k. I'm not messing around here. Four years, crucial first team player. Let's see if we get him. The David Luiz offer was also accepted, and I'm going to offer him 180,000 and a 20% goal bonus. And I'm going to keep it at three years and crucial first team player. I really hope this guy accepts. So Joel Campbell also declined, so I'm going to offer him the full 90k. I'm not negotiating very well here. I'm doing terribly, but hopefully he will not decline 90,000. He also declined the 90,000, so I'm going to go for 120. Fuck it, I'm not going to mess around. I really want these players. He's probably not worth it. Uh, but yeah, let's see what he says to that. Meanwhile, Mendy accepts, and he's now part of the Benfica squad. Great player. I'm happy to have him on board. And then, as expected, David Luiz declines the contract. So I offer him 230,000. Surely he's going to accept that, right? So Joel Campbell finally agrees, and we finally signed the player that Benfica's been going after for two years, and I'm happy to have him as part of the Benfica team and then we have this motherfucker declining again so I lose my mind and I go for 350,000 if he doesn't accept it I'm not trying anymore that is way too much money that's more money than I was ever willing to pay for someone but I do like David Luiz and he's definitely going to be a good player for Benfica and finally we sign the legendary David Luiz he's back at Benfica he's back at the Stadio de Luz and yeah, what a fantastic result there. I've spent way too much. I don't even know what my budget is. But keep giving me player names. I've had some suggestions. I will look at them for the next episode. And now, yeah, I've, I've got a great team building up. And I hope that this is going to help us in the future reach the top of the Primera Liga. But let's go and have a look at the table now. But yeah, there we go. Second from bottom. We do have a game in hand. So if we win, we can go uh, mid to top table. So yeah, who knows? I'll work on it. Uh, but anyway, keep liking, keep subscribing leave comments it's great getting you guys involved this season and i'm having a really really good time so yeah goodbye